According to the Worldometer 2021, the world's population reaching 10 billion by 2060 is a cause for concern over food security and agricultural sustainability. The current unsustainable food production and consumption methods is putting the world towards food scarcity. However, precision agriculture, agricultural robots and automation, controlled environments agriculture, agricultural biotechnology and food innovation can change this. This video will look at how the most rapidly growing areas in ag tech that investors can take advantage of. In fact, on April the 13th, 2022, the World Bank Group, International Monetary Fund, United Nations World Food Programme and World Trade Organization had released a joint statement calling on the international community for urgent action to address food insecurity globally. While this is not the first time something of the sort has occurred, joint statements and reports represent an urgency across the board. The statement asks for solidarity and to keep trade open. Again, they ask that these giant economies support vulnerable countries, including providing finances to meet their most urgent needs. Roughly one in three people in the world, compromising 2.37 billion people, did not have access to adequate food in 2020. A year ago, that number was less by almost 320 million people. The prevalence of food insecurity in 2020 is unchanged from 2019. And 2022 has not been any easier considering the current geopolitical climate. In the US, 89.5% of households were food secure throughout the year. The remaining 10.5% of households were food insecure, at least sometime during the year, including 3.9% with extremely low food security, comprising around 5.1 million households. If you want to learn more about vertical farming and the latest cutting-edge food trends, download our free trends report. Link is in the bio. On July the 5th, 2022, the World Bank expressed concern over food prices and the potential risk of a malnutrition outbreak. They shared a document that supported their problems and gave policies to address the change and offer immediately relief to victims. Their statement revealed that record high food prices have triggered a global crisis, driving millions into extreme poverty, hunger and malnutrition while threatening to erase hard-won gains in development. Further, the war in Ukraine, supply chain disruptions and the continued economic fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic are reversing years of development gains for many developing countries and pushing food prices to all-time highs. Rising food prices have a greater impact on people in low and middle income countries since they spend a larger share of their income on food than in high income countries. As well, since the start of the war in Ukraine, trade related policies imposed by countries have surged. As of June 30th, 18 countries have implemented 31 food export policy measures affecting 5.5% of calories traded in global markets and five countries have implemented six export limiting measures. The global food cycle and system are under immense pressure due to three trends. This naturally leads to increasing demand for food. By 2060, the UN anticipates the global population to reach 10 billion people. With the limited capacity for existing agriculture, we might face hardships in the food area worldwide. Currently, Farming methods are very resource intensive. The UN expects that by 2050, food production will need to increase by 70% to cater for the population. Meanwhile, our eating habits have a way of getting in the way of securing food security. For instance, meat is one of the resources that need to be restricted by personal choice. This is not a vote for vegans, but a statistic concern about our unsustainable food consumption while livestock accounts for 80% of agricultural production and consumption, it supplies just 18% of the global calorie supply. We might need to find supplementing food of nutritional value. Overall, the trends in food production and consumption need a new direction. 
As such, we have agricultural technology, ag tech, and food innovation as two emerging possible solutions. Ag tech uses technology to maximize crop yields while conserving water and land. We will jump into the major themes of ag tech and offer explanations of the various segments. Three, precision agriculture. Precision agriculture is the integration of artificial intelligence, AI, and the Internet of Things, IoT, into traditional farming practices. These technologies can provide farmers with more data, which in turn can be used to boost efficiency. For instance, soil can be tested to tell farmers the exact places to plant different crops or the right amount of manure to include in production. In addition, the weather is forecasted across other devices and integrated into healthy farming practices. The same goes for testing animals' health and feeding practices. The John Deere C and spray machine is an excellent example. This tech machine uses various sensors to detect places where weeds are. Farmers can save 77% of herbicide used by spraying weeds. This save cost and time, making your job easier and more effective. Number two, robotics and automation. Robotics and automation aims to reduce the manual labor needed in agriculture. The global agricultural robots market is expected to grow from 4.9 billion US dollars in 2021 to 11.9 billion US dollars by 2026 at a growth rate of 19.3%. Agricultural robots automate farmers' slow, repetitive and dull tasks, allowing them to focus more on improving overall production yield. This automation includes autonomous berry pickers, which demonstrate over 60% more productivity than humans. Furthermore, drones can also play a role in effectively reducing waste. By quickly surveying vast farmland, drones can map the property, report on crop health, improve spraying accuracy, monitor livestock and irrigation systems and more. For instance, the farmers of California are investing in drones that monitor fields for leaks and other issues. They shared that this technology reduces their water inputs by over 40%. Number one, controlled environment agriculture. Lastly, AgTech can transform controlled environment agriculture. Controlled environment agriculture is the cultivation of crops in an indoor setting. The ability to grow food anywhere and during all seasons could transform the playing field for agriculture. When Musk was visualizing life on Mars, he mentioned that it would take thousands of spaceships and millions of tons of vitamin C to make life on Mars bearable. He also noted food, an industry that would be led by his brother, Kimball. He said food would be grown on solar-powered hydroponic farms located either underground or in an enclosed structure. The global climate control agriculture market size was 74.49 billion US dollars in 2020. Subscribe to this channel to find the right ETF. One of the most well-known controlled environmental agricultural methods is hydroponics. Hydroponics is where crops are cultivated in a nutrient-rich water-based solution instead of soil. According to Princeton University, suppose the world rallied behind hydroponics. A constant stream of nutrients could enrich the lifespan of most plants. This means crops have 7 to 14 more growth cycles over traditional methods. This could benefit eliminating food scarcity in a heartbeat. Additionally, water scarcity could be controlled in agriculture due to the use of recirculated water hydroponic systems. At its best, plants would need 90% less water to grow than traditional farming methods. Lastly, hydroponic systems can ensure that over 10 times more food is produced in the same space than conventional farms have. As produce is stacked vertically and land degradation becomes outdated, to conclude, we shall need more than a disruption in productions to end this struggle. Investors need to turn their attention to consumption too. AgTech solutions can boost output and create a sustainable production culture, yet consumption must support this cause. That is when the food innovation bit comes in. Let us look at it. Food innovation refers to developing and commoditizing new food products, processes and services. 
food production companies are looking for ways to make healthy, nutritious offerings that are enticing, accessible, exciting and sustainable. These food offerings include plant-based foods and other alternatives such as lab-grown meat. Given the meat and dairy industry's immense scale and carbon footprint, these innovations could reap environmental benefits. Currently, over 400 foods in these categories are on the market as new investors rapidly develop others. The scale and the market share available are incredible. For example, considering that 80% of Americans either have purchased or are open to purchasing alternative meat products in the future, the more supply available, the better. In fact, experts have predicted that by 2040, lab-grown meat will account for 35% of the global market share. Let us know if you are open to buying alternative food options to help sustainable agricultural production and consumption. You can give us reasons if you're not interested. For those intrigued and seeking to invest in companies advancing innovation and technology in agriculture and food industries, this includes companies providing ag tech related to precision agriculture, agricultural robots and automation, controlled environment agriculture, agricultural biotechnology and food innovation activities. If you want to learn more about vertical farming and the latest cutting edge food trends, download our free trends report, link is in the bio. Also check out the most innovative vertical farm startups here and our vertical farm technology explained video. Oh, 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 oh,